Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Mali and... Shelly. Sunburned Shelly. <laughs> So we have uh, Sunburn Shelley. <laughs> uh, so everybody, um, Sheldon could not join us. as like Tim Barney said he's in hibernation. <laughs> and um, both Shelley and um, Tim Barney. So um, Tim Barney and Sheldon is our two engineers. And we're very fortunate to have a very special guest today. Tim Barney sitting in for Sheldon. So um, he's also, his nickname in the office is Bunny. So um, <laughs> me with lots of order, Bunny with no air. <laughs> and um, we're going to uh, bring the khaki range to you today, uh, making sure that your car from bumper to bumper is ready for, for summer and for spring. Uh, yes, Mal, thank you for, for having me on, um, on the show. Um, so you can tell that summer is coming because Shelly is really sunburnt. <laughs> So just to <laughs> just to get you in the mood as well, we're also gonna get your car ready for for the awesome season. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's about that load in you, <laughs> you <Yes. can> <laughs> oh, it's so so stunning. And um, I hope you're gonna uh, get some value out of today. Um, the, the spring in the air, the birds are going crazy. People are starting to be outside. Uh, there's a lot of excitement. Business is picking up, um, and I've I've got short sleeves on <laughs> for a change. <laughs> Uh, so that's so, so nice. And that's always the m amazing thing is, is as soon as it starts hitting spring and summer, um, it's like instantly everything changes. Always on the 1st of, of, of September, which we have a spring day. It's never warm. It <laughs> rains. <laughs> but still, we're all excited. We want to put on our shorts and our T-shirts. And yeah. it, it makes the, everything outside so exciting. Yeah, and it's also exciting that the time uh, the country is opening up again. So I think a lot more people will be getting into their cars, hitting the road. So we just want to make sure that the journey is also fun for you while you're inside your car as well. Yeah, so this, so now is the time to make sure that you can actually get involved in washing your car because now you can deal with the water, you can deal with the foam, it's nice to be outside, you can have a braai while you do it. So we have an entire range that um, some of the products we've covered in some of the other um, uh, shows, but we want to now cover today, bumper to bumper, some of the new products as well. But before we get started, Bunny, you want to tell everybody about our MotoGP competition? So we have a MotoGP competition running. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot go. Uh, I've asked if I could change my name so I could enter, but yeah, so it didn't go very well for me. <laughs> but uh, all you have to do is to make sure that with every 1,000 Rand patches of our products, you scan your receipt on the app and you'll be automatically entered. Uh, like I said, if you want to take me with you, I can be your cousin. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> your cousin yes. from other than the mother. <laughs> awesome. So, um, any product, anything that you purchase from Liquid Molly, doesn't matter from any of our partners, Goldbach and Builders, uh, Midas's, AutoZones, any of our retailers, anywhere online, more than a thousand rand, you scan it, you need to have your, the Liquid Molly Advantage app scan, and every single time you purchase, you're entered. So the more that you purchase, and every time you scan, you have that additional entry into the MotoGP with 200,000. So if you get drawn, it's you plus one. So a um, bunny would be anybody's plus one. So um, <laughs> so um, let's get into the car care range. So we're going to break it up a little bit, but let's start. If we have our cars and the part of the vehicle that touches the ground the most, and also the part that I know everybody likes to blink up a bit it must be the biggest it must be the widest that's the tires and the mags so um, bunny and myself we're going to quickly show you the two products that really has an amazing effect and easy to use when you are taking care of your tires and your mags so bunny let's start with the mags um we're going to use the mag cleaner we're going to come a little bit closer because we know richard behind the screen is not so good with the zoom so that you can visually see what we are doing so here is what we call a mag. Richard, can we see the mag? We, you might not see us, but you just see the mag. Okay, so then I'm going to take um, the, sorry, bunny, the, our special rim cleaner. Just tell me if it's in the screen. So the special rim cleaner has been so popular, it's actually been sold out in the entire country, and it's now back in stock. So make sure that you get this product as soon as possible. What makes it so amazing so all surfaces of the different mags, so if you can just bring that a little bit forward, Bunny, so that we don't get that on the wood. So I'm going to spray it. Ooh, hot. I'm just going to get it on the black areas so that we can get some reaction. 
So easy to spray on. I see a lot of spaces. It's already acting. I just want to miss your hands. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to turn purple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while that's getting activated, the amazing thing, I don't know about you, but the problem normally with washing mags is you have to have your old toothbrush and try to get into those little spots where all the brake dust, uh, the brake dust actually collects. So then you are spraying whatever, and then you have your toothbrush, and you're trying to get everywhere. The amazing thing about this mag um, cleaner is that you spray it on, you leave it for five minutes, and as soon as it starts reacting with the dirt, you actually see it. So I want to, uh, Bunny, let's bring it together, and we can see if they can see the color change um, there at the back. So I don't know if you can see there at the back or in the front or somewhere <laughs> that the color of oh, these it actually shows very nicely here at the back That's so we can turn it around. it around okay this is now not with the part that you're going <laughs> to see from home but you can see there's a very very deep purple color that it that it becomes when it acts with the with the dirt can you see that don't know if you can see it oh, a little bit okay so um just let's put this down okay so the, 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 the thing that, we, that you'll be able to, to notice, and then I'll give you something to clean your hands, Thank is you. that as soon as it changes, it touches the dirt, it's going to change color. And um, the, 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 the easy part now is you're going to just take water and spray it off. Yes, so that's, all, that's all you have to do. Uh, one of my personal favorite products, because uh, you can actually see it reacting with the dirt. So that lets you know that it's working. And it's also not going to affect your plastic parts. I know that people have asked me before about the alkaline in it, if it's going to affect the plastic part, but it doesn't affect it at all. So an easy, stunning product to use. Spray on, leave it for five minutes, and, it, and just rinse it off. And Carlos from Goldwagen Head Office, um, I know the first time he used it, he used one bottle per mag, so you don't <laughs> have to do that. You just put enough on to reach all the dirt, leave it for five minutes, and rinse it off, and not going to damage any of the material. The smell is very, very strong. It almost smells like perm. I don't know if you've smelled perm before, but don't worry about the smell. It's the way it's been designed to be able to have uh, the properties that it does. But also an amazing thing that it works on. If you really have tough stains on clothes, and if I talk about tough stains, one thing for me that's always quite difficult to get out of something, or wine is one of them, but uh, something else is blood. So um, if you do have a blood stain on material, or maybe your nose started bleeding and it fell somewhere, on, on some of your um, uh, material at home, and this is something that you can just spray a little bit on, leave it a little while, and you'll see it, it starts making a change, it almost starts foaming on top of it, and then after that you can just wash it. So, not just for your mags, also if you <laughs> want to make, <laughs> I don't want to say if you want to, for, for, for so, things that you want to hide away, but it's great <laughs> if you want to then get those tough stains out as well, the mag cleaner. So we're going to be working up and down from yeah. the front desk and to the back so that we can show you everything. But now you've put your mags all nice and clean. The next thing is you normally then want to make sure that the tires look bright and that they complement the mags. But if you, I mean, I don't know about you, buddy, but every single time that I've been at, at, a, at a place to wash my vehicle, then normally they put a silicone on the tires. And when I drive around the block or go on a little bit of a dusty road, it normally has it st sticking onto the tires. Yeah, so that's the issue with silicone. It's like a dust magnet. So whenever you drive past the gravel road, even if it's a small patch, it looks like you never washed your car. So this is one of the best products that we have to solve that issue. Uh, silicone free, so you're not going to have your tires looking like you just drove through a mud puddle. Okay, so let's show everybody how that works. So we are getting quite active today with showing all the different things. So this is a tire. <laughs> and then um, our tire bright foam. I also use this on my bicycle tires. If you really want to get into detail and make sure that your bicycle is shining from all aspects. But um, so after you've washed your, uh, your, your car um, and your tires and the mags are nice and clean, you would just spray that all over the tire. Leave it a little bit so it gets penetrated into the, to the rubber. And then you would search for your cloth. <laughs> right. And then you'll just wipe it off. And make sure. You can see, I don't know, Rich, are we in the right space? You can see the big difference. So it brings out that nice dark shine. 
but it uh, will not collect dust. So it's not silicone based. It is designed to be able to uh, penetrate into the, to the rubber, bring out that shine and color, and make it look brand new, but not attract any dust. Thank you so much, Bunny. All right, so now we've taken care of the wheels. So the mags are clean with the mag cleaner. Um, the tires are taken care of with the tire bright foam. So now we're going to start moving to the surfaces of, of the vehicle. And can you put that there for me? Yeah. Um, so now, I mean, we have soaps, which is wax um, protection, which have different types. So you please go and look on our website. We've got the entire range there. We're not going to go into every single one. There's a wide variety of different cleaners and, and um, uh, car washing soaps. So after you've washed your car and you start drying everything, um, you're going to start doing some detail. Buddy, what, I don't know about you, but normally if you wash your car, if you've had it washed, do they take off every single dirty spot or is it normally parts that you have to try and figure out afterwards? Uh, usually you have to walk around your car while you still have the car wash. Um, I think if you pay that kind of uh, attention to, to, to detail, you would have to do that while you're still there. Because you don't want to get home and realize, oh, they actually missed the whole spot and <laughs> it all looks weird. So you always have to make sure that everything is spotless. So let's say, I mean, I know the side mirrors are always the part and then the front part of the car. And if you've been on the open road that you have quite a lot of little animals that are still looking at you funny. <laughs> so all those mosquitoes and little yeah. things that are, have been flying around that has, has lost their lives in the front of your car and on the side mirrors. And that normally does not, depending on how long they were on there or how, um, uh, how, how hot the impact was, <laughs> if they just touched it or they totally exploded, yeah. that um, that's still normally on there. Because in, in, in that kind of washing, I don't think they're going to detail that much. So if you have that problem, um, then what we suggest you do is to use a product of ours called the gloss spray wax. So the gloss spray wax, and we're going to show you just now how to apply it, is a product that's got, um, it's, it's got nanotechnology, so it covers the dust molecules. So if you're going to have your car afterwards and you're going to polish it, it's not going to, if you bring your cloth, it's not going to scratch the vehicle. So um, you're going to be able to take off all that extra dirt afterwards without worrying about additionally scratching it. And um, it's going to be uh, easily remove all of those mosquitoes and, and, and other um, insects that you will have on the car and maybe some additional scratches. But it is a polish, so if there are little small fine lines that you don't really need a scratch remover, it will take those scratches off. Um, do you, what do you use the, the gloss spray wax for, um, Tim Barney? Uh, generally on my, on my hood, because uh, I have a lot of people who walk across my car and they lean on it. Um, so it always leaves marks or anything like that. So I just like to make sure that it's polished and it's clean. And also I know that's the first impact when I'm driving. So the bugs, that's where they first land. So <laughs> just to protect that uh, bit of the car, that's, I, I love it for that. Okay, stunning, and it has issue, um, um, uh, UV protection in it. So just to be able to show you, so we're going to just show everything at once so we don't have to <laughs> do this dance yeah. the whole time. So very uh, stunning polish, but this product, and we are working on it to add a couple of different logos on it, is packaged in, in a lot of other parts of our ranges. It's, it's packaged in the motorcycle range, it's packaged in the aero range, the marine, uh, the bicycle, and then in the car key. So you can buy the car care polish or the bicycle or the motorcycle and use them for all the applications. So you can use it to clean the frame of your bicycle and make it shine. Yeah. You can use it for your car. You can use it for your jet ski and for your boat. You can use it for your motorcycle. So uh, gloss polish wax that you can actually then use to clean and protect all your, your equipment. Now, for those little scratches... The one thing I see on cars quite a lot is women have long nails. I don't because we do Mali and Shelly <laughs> and get all dirty. Um, but uh, have you seen it everywhere in the doors? Yeah, I've, uh, especially if you use, you open your door with your house keys in your hands as well. You don't really have to have nails, but that can also do quite a lot of damage. And I think a lot of times rings. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of people that wear silicon rings now, but also all those rings, if you touch the door handle, it actually scratches it. So you see all those fine little scratches and then sometimes someone might have, you say that people are leaning on your car, yeah. <laughs> if I see them. <laughs> but um, if, if, they, if you would have um, uh, buttons on your pants, you will have small little scratches. If it did not penetrate into the paint, where you'll have to get paddle beating, a product that we have to use that, if you can explain a little bit more, uh, Bunny. Uh, so this is our scratch remover. It's a rubbing compound. 
So how it works is you just uh, simply apply it with a cloth and you let it take effect for a couple of minutes, depending on, on, on the depth of the scratches. But please note it's not for bullet holes. Uh, <laughs> and then after that, you would like to also do a second run, which is kind of like a finish. Uh, it's also good product for headlight restoration as well. So if any of you feel that um, your headlights are becoming dimmer and you're not getting the light that you need, this is the product for you. Okay, so, so, so the compound inside, is it very rough so it will actually damage the paint or is it very gentle just to take the scratches out? It's very gentle, so I would say it works more like a filler. So it's not going to create even deeper uh, scratches. It's just going to fill the already existing fine scratches that are there. Right, I know some people even use it for their counter surfaces that have scratched scratches on it because someone has taken a glass on it. They use it to take those scratches out as well. But for those that don't know what, uh, for the headlight, so I know this is not a headlight. <laughs> if it is, <laughs> wrong color, imagine that it's white. <laughs> but you've seen those, those, those lights on the car that um, in the front, it actually looks like it's sand lasted. So it becomes yeah. very dull and it actually has a, a bad look on, it gives a, a bad look from the front on the car itself. So to be able to take care of that and to take that out, and I know we get a, a question of that quite a lot on how to do it. So, Bunny, can you take us through the steps of what would someone do if they want to take those dim headlights that looks like it's been sandblasted back to its original shine? So the first thing you want to do, like I already mentioned, you want to apply basically your first coat, which you would wrap applying some pressure. Uh, you may want to let that sit for maybe five to 10 minutes, then clean it off with a very clean, dry cloth and then you want to do your second coat. So this one, you'll even let, uh, let it sit even longer. Uh, some people prefer to use a polishing machine if you do have that, uh, but it's, from what I've seen, I've never needed to use a polishing machine. Uh, usually my hand is strong enough. <laughs> so. <laughs> awesome, so, so you would apply that, you'll have to use a little bit of elbow grease, depending on how bad the sandblasting effect on the, on the headlights are, and then bring the shine back with the gloss polish spray. Um, so, Another thing that also gets onto the outside of a car that's normally not easy to get out um, is tar. So we know that the roads are being paved and um, there's a lot of tar on new roads. And when you get that, sometimes even on your brand new car, those are not things, if it's dried, it's not easy to get off. So do you, what do we have in our range to be able to take that out? It's a tar remover. Tar remover, here we go. So uh, tar remover. So this is stunning. You just spray it onto the tar and uh, you take a cloth and you actually just yeah. wipe it off. Um, this is also very good for stickers, stickers that you've removed and they leave behind that um, gluey residue. It's, it's very good for that, especially on the windscreen as well. If you change your license disc and you find that your holder was, was leaving a glue behind, you can use this to remove it. Wow, so tar can be removed and then the glue from the stickers on side. So everybody that has their, their license discs for the last 50 <laughs> years on their mirror, now's the opportunity to remove them and then use the tar remover to take all the glue off. <laughs> all right, so let's, I just want to visually again show people what it actually looks like, the gloss spray wax. I know we have a massive bumper here in the front, and uh, the idea is to make sure that you can see how these things work. Okay, I don't know what vehicle this was. <laughs> Shelly brought it here. <laughs> have it. I think that's a bit too low. Can you see it? Up a bit. Up a bit. Okay, so maybe put it to the top here. All right. Okay, so this is a bumper of a 1955. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> So, um, poly spray wax, you want to spray that on? So you see it has a, if, if you would touch it, it actually has a nice, I don't know if you can see that, creamy kind of effect. So what you would do is, uh, depending on, on the amount of insects or stuff that would still be on you, you would just then, you'll see it, then it, you can see the waxiness. So you can just nicely buff it, Make sure it gets onto all the surfaces, and then take a dry cloth. Oh, it is quite dirty. Thanks, Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> and then take a dry cloth when you to buff it. So feel the texture between there and here. I can already see visually the difference. I'm just not sure if it's coming through on the camera, but you can see it looks a bit 
silky and shiny over there, and it's a bit dry and, and rough over you there. You can actually use this as a, as a, as a, um, <laughs> a mirror <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to see what it yeah. looks like. Okay, so we want you to see it's so simple. It's easy to spray on, so you can do this now on the whole bumper. Your entire car, if you want to know, I have detailing. I know as well on white cars, you normally have, can you see the uh, um, reach? On the white cars, normally in the corners, um, they have this, this dirt collection. And that's normally also difficult to get off. So even with the, with the gloss spray wax, that amount of detailing can be done after the car has been washed so that you know that it looks brand new. Awesome. Thanks, All buddy. Right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. So that is our, from on the outside, the couple of products that um, can take care of that additional detailing from removing scratches um, to removing the tar, uh, making sure that it's polished, and um, also UV protected, because that's also what the gloss spray wax additionally adds um, uh, to the surface of the vehicle. So now from, from that point of view, we, the other part, we've covered the wheels, covered the outside. So on the other side, uh, part is you have your windscreen. So the one thing for me is if the windows are clean, it feels like everything outside is yeah. just so, so bright. How do yeah. you feel about yeah. that? Um, it, it reminds me of a time we traveled to Sun City and there was a butterfly migration uh, that weekend. And I remember all of our cars just looked like we were in a butterfly storm. <laughs> 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 so whenever my windscreen is clean, I just feel like I can just see clearly my drive is so much better. But what is, I mean, I think of windows and mirrors and your windscreens. And the one thing that's normally very difficult to do is to make sure that it's cleaned and it's, it's, it doesn't have streaks. And it doesn't have that, because if there's a little bit of an oiliness, especially if it starts raining and you have that moisture in the air, it has a, a, a oiliness in the air and it also shows that on your windscreen. So when you clean it, and it's normally just with, with uh, a clean water, um, or with water, but the, but it's not, they haven't used a clear cloth to be able to take that off. And there might be a little bit of the other cleaning um, sprays or the silicon still on the cloth. You'll normally have that. It almost looks like you see it, especially when the uh, early in the morning, you'll see those streaks on the, on the windscreen oh. and those drive me totally crazy. So the, the, the great thing about um, our range is all of these things. I think the Germans sit and they think, what irritates us? <laughs> and what can we make to, to take care of it? Yeah. Because we have products that do exactly that. And um, Timoni, I know this is one of uh, your favorite products. So I want you to tell everybody why it is your favorite, favorite product. So this is the windshield cleaner foam. Um, the first time I used it, I was actually traveling to Limpopo. <laughs> So I was on my way to Bulukwane, uh, hi Rodney and, and Jackie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I always find that whenever I hit bugs on the road and they wash it at the, at, at the garage, they never really come off. So you have a clean windscreen, but with like spots of skeletons everywhere. But I found that with this, it helps to dissolve all, all, all those dead bugs on the windscreen and it just leaves it clear. There isn't that greasy look to it. Um, so this is definitely in my personal car, in my work car, I, I take it everywhere I go. I know people that have used this on their car buys bottles and bottles, cans and cans every single month to clean their houses. They don't buy whatever the normal cleaning yeah. unit is because you don't have to have the one cloth after the other and then use um, uh, what newspaper to try and make sure that they don't have any streaks. So um, let's show how it works. So we actually have a, 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 a piece of glass here that has that effect that someone that hasn't cleaned it properly would look like. <laughs> So you wouldn't see us so bright through this, but you will see us here. Yeah. So let's see if we can change that. I just want to have a cloth that's not going to work against us. So we have to cl clean both sides. All right. So nice and foamy. So also something you can use for your Christmas decorations on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want a beard. Yeah, if you want a beard. I'm going to give it to you because it's <laughs> the shoulder of mine and the rubbing part. So let's take all that. Let's see if you can see us better after <laughs> this. <laughs> so I know, I mean, those bugs, I can understand um, because when you clean it, they might have been there already for quite some time or, as I said, with very hard impact. So it's not that easy for just a normal window washing to get it off. But this helps because you don't have that streakiness. It dissolves those insects. So, um, so we have the middle part that you've cleaned. Yeah, so I just want to leave the corners out to see that it's still quite dirty in there. I can see clearly now. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So that's the difference. And this makes it so much easier to wash uh, your, your windows and um, your windscreen and anything else that you want to clean that's, that's glass. So a really, really simple, easy way to clean your windscreen. And at the same time, we, 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 we try to run around and get some insects connected <laughs> to the glass. It didn't work so well. Yeah. So um, but try it. Um, see what it does for you and how much simpler it makes life. But now as well, it's going to start having the rainy season. And um, whether you're on a motorbike um, or whether you are on a, uh, in a car, it's always great. It's, it's stunning if you, if you can use your wipers, but when you're in a motorbike with a visor, you normally don't have wipers, unless this is a new design. <laughs> but it's also great if you don't have to use them and, and you know that it's going to be a clear view um, at, at all times. So we do have a product that's called Clear Fix, or um, it's a rain repellent. So if you look at the bottle, you'll see that it's written in German. So um, we do apologize. Some of our products, it, we are a German company. So you speak the, 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 the German, um, alles klar. Most of these, um, uh, not most of it, there's only some products that have quite a large amount of German on it. And then you don't know exactly should you drink it, should you put it in your ear. So an easy way to solve this is by using your app. Um, Bunny, do you have your phone close by? Uh, no. Okay, so I just want to disconnect myself here from... Facebook Live. So I'm going to come closer again. So uh, here we have our rain repellent, clear view, and um, everything on it doesn't make sense. So what the easiest way to do is here's my app. Can you see my phone? Open up the Liquid Molly Advantage app. All right. Then here at the top, it has a little scanner. So if I click on the scanner, Okay, if I click on the scanner, it opens it up like that. Now, if I scan on Bunny, I can see who he is. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so all you do is you go close to the barcode, and then it'll pick up the product. And all in English. So now I can see the product. I see what it's called. Uh, Fix clear rain repellent. I can see the amount of points I would get as rewards. I would see how much it costs. And as well, if I click here, I can go to the data sheet. So on the data sheet, I can see everything about the product. The color that it is, what it looks like, how I should use it, so everything. So if you ever get a product that does not have English on it, or you're not clear on how to use it, just scan it with your Liquid Molly Advantage app, and you'll be able to, to find and, and see how to use that product with all the details um, close to you, or immediately available. So. The clear view, what you would do is you would uh, apply it to your windscreen. Um, you would leave it for 10 minutes before you would drive. So don't put it on immediately. Don't put it on when it's raining. That's <laughs> not going to help. Yeah. After you've washed it, put it on. It's going to last for a, for a month if it doesn't rain. Um, but it's better than every single time that you wash your windscreen to reapply it. And then the way it works, I don't know if you can see... Uh, Richard, so you'll see if, if we have to do it differently. So this is what water looks like normally. Yes, yeah, it's, it's running everywhere. It's dripping. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you'll see here it creates small little molecules of water. You see that. So we already um, applied the, the uh, rain uh, clear view. And as soon as it gets in contact, so if the rain then touches the windscreen, it's going to make these little spots. And it actually, it, it's almost like it bubbles it and as you drive and the wind it will actually make sure you'll see now even after it's run want to go flat <laughs> <laughs> you'll see that it'll actually ha keep the windscreen clear is what we see there so as the vehicle moves it makes the water little drops as what you can see here and as you drive it will just let those raindrops fall off so it's so amazing, you won't need your wipers, and you can just drive, and you'll see the water just falling off, and you have nice clear view. All right, so that is clear view, rain repellent. Um, and then to be able to make sure you don't have to clean your windscreen every single time a, a, a mosquito or something's from the front, we also have some items that you can put into your water bottle, correct? Yeah, so this would uh, normally come in if you don't prefer to stop and maybe clean your windscreen at a, at a filling station. Uh, so these are readily available in your water bottle. By readily available, I mean they 
you know, they do not come with your car, but you'd have to put them in there. So this is basically our uh, solutions to have, always have basically soap in there to make sure that when you press on your windscreen wiper, it washes your windscreen clean. Okay, so the same effect of dissolving the insects and making sure that when you put your wipers on, it cleans it quite nice. Um, there are three different options. So one is the sachet. So this is a 20 ml sachet that you just add into your 5 liter water bottle. So you get this option. Then we also have the, our Apple tablets. Very important. Don't give this to your kids as a sweet or a, or a headache tablet. If they start getting all foamy around the mouth, it's because it was not supposed to be consumed. <laughs> Um, so you put this one tablet into your water bottle. It will dissolve easily. It's DACRA approved. It's got all these different approvals. Um, and um, it will dissolve very quickly. But when you put your wipers on, you'll have that soapiness. It will dissolve all those insects. But at the same time, you'll have that nice apple smell yeah. that comes through the, 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 <laughs> the air beds. I also like that it, it acts as an air freshener when you use it. So it's, it's quite refreshing when you're on a long drive as well. It's funny, so you can, and then the last option we do have is the concentrated little 50 ml. That's also the same for 5 liter water bottle. This has a more of a citrus smell, so you can decide are you into oranges or into <laughs> apples? And depending on which one you prefer, you can add that into your water bottle. Um, and um, how long does it last until the water in your water bottle is empty? Yeah. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> We get that question quite a lot. So it's the same as cool drink to water. As soon as you've drunk everything, then you'll have to put new cool drink in. So it's the same. As soon as you've used all the water, you'll have to get a new bottle added with, the, with filling up the, the next five liter into your windscreen water bottle. And it's going to make sure your windscreen is nice and clear, but also that nice fresh smell in the car. All right. So wheels we've covered, outside of the car we've covered, windscreen we've covered. Now let's look at the inside of the car. So that's where the kids have a ball, the animals have a ball, yeah. you have a ball, yeah. other people driving your car have a ball. <laughs> so, um, and this is the part that you're in contact with the most. The rest, the, the people see through. That's the makeup of the car. You want yeah. it to look all good and nice. But the part that's inside is important that you feel comfortable and it's fresh and it's well taken care of. And also this is where you spend most of your time. Uh, this is where probably you eat your lunch while driving. Um, so all the stickiness that you might maybe drop to your seats, to your dashboard, sometimes can be tricky to get out. So um, let's start with cleaning this, <laughs> this, this process. So there's some products that we've already covered. And you'll see some videos on our Super K cleaner and where you can use it. So our Super K, a universal cleaner that cleans everything. Cleans your tackies, cleans your rubber carpets, cleans all the stickiness. If you want to clean your dashboard and get all that old dust and silicone that someone else might have used, you want to get that off, this will be the application you would use to clean it. So this is a really nice cleaner, taking off every possible piece of dirt and stickiness that's inside the car. Um, then we'll have the upholstery foam cleaner. So, um, funny? So this is a... Uh, similar to the windscreen uh, foam cleaner that you saw earlier, except this one is for your apostrophe. So for your couches, your seats in the car, anything that you maybe want to get dead out, this is the product to go to. Uh, what I like about this is it is uh, formulated to lift your dead up. So you'll see that as soon as you apply it and you let it take effect, uh, you can see blackish particles on top of the foam. So it kind of lifts it up and you just have to wipe it off. That's so awesome. So, so it actually digs in deep, <laughs> takes <laughs> everything out, and you can just wipe yeah. it off afterwards. But as what Bunny said, this is for your upholstery. Um, and not just the upholstery in your car, it's great for your roof. So if you don't want to um, uh, get it all wet and, make, and, and damage it, this is a really nice application because it's going to take the dirt away, and you can just take that extra additional foam afterwards and scrub it off. But also your, your, your carpets that are not made of rubber, your couches at home, your carpets... I mean, so many places, if there's upholstery and you want to clean it and you don't want to have it uh, very wet, then this is really, really a stunning a cleaner. And it's also a foam. There's also <laughs> something else you can use to create that beard or that uh, 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 holiday decorations. Yeah. So when we went through the, 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 the products that we were going to cover, Bunny said we have to mention the, the cockpit um, shine. So Bunny? So this for me is... is also, uh, just a finishing touch after cleaning with everything. So I start with the Super K cleaner, then I'll maybe do the apostrophe foam cleaner where I have to. And then just to give it that finish and make sure that the dust doesn't collect on it immediately, then I use the cockpit shine. Okay, so, 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 so 
one thing that I hear what I absolutely love is that it does not collect dust. Because once again, there's a lot of places that actually use silicone for the dashboard so they can have that extra shine, but that attracts dust. So silicon is used in a lot of applications, but it is a, a sticky kind of application. So as soon as you have a silicon um, uh, application, you will have that dust collection, the same as on your tires or anywhere else. So you say this does not collect any dust. doesn't collect any dust, and it's also good for the reflection. Sometimes they use very... Um, shiny products uh, the moment you drive out of the car wash you can't see where you're going anymore but uh, this one will have that subtle shine that looks very neat and it looks to rejuvenate the plastic as well it's stunning so it looks that makes your car look like it originally looked when you bought it yes. awesome okay so that is your uh, cockpit shine climber fresh we already covered so that is the product that you would use to clean your air con so that you don't have that stuffy um, uh, bacteria smell, you know that you can also prevent getting any um, illnesses because of the bacteria that, that is created in the pollen filter and also that smell. I mean now in, in, in summer we tend to use the aircon far more. So you have the aircon with a lot of water in the, in, the, in the piping so that because there's a lot more water, because when you put it on heat it normally does not have water. When you put it on cold, it does. And then that water has, is the ideal breeding ground for bacteria. <laughs> yes. So that's why in, in summer, you tend to have that smelly, that, that smell, a stuffy smell much quicker. And your pollen filter and your aircon get stuffy much, much quicker as well. But that gives you, an, an, uh, as soon as you ha get that smell, you must know that there is a bacteria. And it's always then good to be able to make sure that you disinfect and you clean your, your aircon system so it has that fresh smell. You know the piping system is clean. You know your pollen filter has a protection layer over it. And also you can enjoy the internal part of your car, not have to have all your windows and your other aircon <laughs> open. <laughs> so a stunning product to be able to make sure you have that extra freshness. But if your car is fresh and you just want that additional nice smell in it, we have two different options. And this is, we call it Smelly Miss Molly. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't like her pants, you don't like her blonde hair, you don't have like her legs, then just let her lie on her stomach. <laughs> but it's got a very nice lemon smell, so it's something that if you get into the car, I know every time I open my door, people want to know yeah. um, what what am I smelling? Oh, your car <laughs> smells so nice. And then I drag Miss Molly there from the bottom <laughs> of the car and, uh, and show what actually <laughs> Makes that amazing smell, and if you don't, you don't even like it lying like this. Do not see it at all. We also have the little liquid Molly smelly car, and smelly meaning nice smelly, yes, not, no, not bad smelly. <laughs> not bad smelly. So yeah. both of them have a very nice lemon smell, and it really stands out. It's something that that's really uh, a natural smell. It's not like lavender or something yeah. like that. So it makes the car um, really a pleasure to get into. So another thing that I know we actually neglect a lot of times is to also take care of the rubbers in the car. So if you have your rubber doors, I don't know how many times you've seen that they actually peel off from the side or they start getting very dry or they start cracking and, and um, um, tearing. And those kind of things can be prevented. It, it seals the car properly. Uh, it makes you, I mean, I know if there's certain defects in the car, it keeps on catching my eye and irritating me. So you want to make sure that you take care of it because if it's already broken, then it's not going to be fixed. It's better to make sure that they don't get that way. Yeah, and also, as you already mentioned earlier, that the rainy season is coming. Even when you do wash your car, that's the rubber that stops the water from going inside. So a lot of times, rubber doesn't really like water, even though it stops it from going inside. So it's also important to keep it fresh. Okay, so, 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 so that's such a, a, a vital note that you want to make sure that the rubbers are well protected so that they can and, and well rejuvenated so that they keep the water out but you have to take care of them otherwise yeah. they're going to stop doing that um so one of the nice things that okay, says gummy pledge is one of those scan it with the liquid molly advantage app so we are working on putting all the stickers on it but it's so easy to just scan the barcode and find out how to use it so we have two different applications one is your um, 500 ml a big bottle like this where you can then put it on a nice piece of um, a, a sponge or a, a cloth and then m make sure that you clean all the rubbers and can, can uh, make them rejuvenate, clean them, protect them, bring them back to their original condition. But also one of the new packaging, which I think is so much easier to use, is the gummy pledge, the small one, and it has a little sponge. So it's so easy and nice to be able to go onto the rubbers all over your car and make sure that you don't need anything extra to be able to make sure that your rubbers, the, the rubber care is also um, 
applied smoothly and evenly all over the vehicle. So just to give you an idea, so this is just a piece of rubber. So um, I'm going to just show you how simple and easy it is. So I'm going to do just a half bunny, and then we're going to see the, the difference. So the rubbers in the car doesn't have all these little bits and pieces. But um, you see the difference? Yeah. Okay. So I just did the one half of this rubber. And even if it dries up, you'll see the color comes out quite nicely. Uh, can you see, Rich? So um, it makes it, you can clean it. At the same time, you make sure that it's well taken care of. And it, it is in a state, in a condition that it's going to last much longer. So really nice and easy, simple product to use, but something that we sometimes neglect. Because, I mean, if I look at, at normal shopping baskets for car care products, uh, rubber care is not normally one of them. Yeah, it's not something that a lot of people take note of. I mean, it's, it's all over your, your boot linings, your door linings, and you'll see generally it starts becoming brown. And if you push on it, you can see the cracks. It's because it's not being taken care of. People have had their cars for 10, 15 years and not even once taken care of the rubber. Yeah, and, and the harder and the more um, per perishable the rubber gets, it actually then gets to a point where it actually pulls away from the door and starts tearing there as well. So all of this can be prevented just by taking care of it. Have that as one of the things for you to do when you wash your car. Yeah. So inside, outside, so we have, I mean, there's many other things that we are not touching on. Like I said, we have quite a wide range. We make sure that you take care bumper to bumper. Uh, one of the other products that I see um, Bunny is bringing closer is um, the, the leather key. So if you've cleaned your, you have upholstery um, uh, uh, seats, then you'll use the upholstery foam cleaner. But if you have leather seats, then this will be ideal. Also, this is not just for your leather seats in your car, also your leather couches at home. If you know they are in a room where it gets too much sunlight, then you might need to protect them from that sunlight using our leather kit. Yeah, so the sunlight protection is also great. I mean, I know that you, at nice, when you do it on the seats, you can see the difference, you can see the, the color of the, of the leather coming out, but also at the same time, you must remember that when you're not in the car and you're parked somewhere where it is in the sun, everything that comes through the window is going to affect the leather. So this is going to protect it for also not to crack and to be protected against the UV rays. And as what you mentioned, your um, uh, leather couches at home. But also I know a lot of people use it for their shoes. So it's really great to get to the leather shoes to shine. And even if it's any other, if you have leather seat that is on your motorbike, all of those, um, if you have a leather jacket, stunning to be able to use also, the leather. Also, it smells very nice. I like, I like the smell. I almost forgot <laughs> about that. That is one thing that you immediately said. It's yeah. the smell. I mean, that's so important. It must smell nice because that is what you're going to be experiencing once you get into the car yeah. in that confined space. So, so stunning. So, a lot of different things that we've covered. Um, if there's any questions you have on our car care range, if there's anything that you're not sure of what to use or how to use, please, we have an unbelievable technical team. They are called Sheldon and Tim Barney, <laughs> Shelly and Bunny. <laughs> so they're always there to help and to guide and to make sure that you get the best out of the product. So please, on the app, there's technical support. We have our website with technical support on it. There are so many ways, even on our website and our Facebook page, if you need help, just ask. We are there to serve. We are there to make sure you get the best out of the products. And um, we are excited because we have a new product in our range. So, Bunny, you want to do... <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> okay, I'll do this. <laughs> it's good enough. <laughs> so, it's called our active foam cleaner. Okay, so there's a lot of foaming going on today. <laughs> yes, we did warn them that it was going to get very wet and foamy. So. <laughs> Definitely. So, wet and foamy. And if you don't want to use a lot of water, then the foamy part is going to be quite effective. So, just remember, we have the tire shine, which is a foam that you would use on tires. We have the upholstery foam cleaner, which is the foam that you would use in upholstery. Then we have the windscreen foam cleaner. So a lot of foaming, so we didn't make jokes about wet and foamy. So um, just don't get confused, spraying them if it's foamy, you think it have to be used for one application. So the active foam cleaner. Bunny, tell us a little bit about it. So this is for everything else that is not your couch or your seat or anything apostrophe. So you might want to clean your bike that has both rubber and aluminum parts and plastic parts, and uh, this is the, the product to go to. And you also touched on uh, not needing water as well. I think that's also going to be quite important because of water restrictions everywhere. 
So if you have foam, you can do a lot more with it than you can with, with water. Okay, so do I understand you correct? I, I know this product can be used indoor and outdoor, and it's for um, uh, uh, shiny or for uh, uh, smooth surfaces. So anything aluminium, chrome, rubber, um, glass, what am I missing? Uh, yeah. Plastic. Anything with any of those materials on it, you can use that. Because the others are a few more specific. So it's either apostrophe, uh, apostrophe or your windscreen. But with this one, anything with those different kind of materials, you can apply on that. Something like your sliding door at home could have the glass, the aluminum part, the rubber handles. So you can just drown it in, in, that, in that form. And I know one stunning thing about this product is it's really good for anything that's upright where you don't want it to run. Um, so exactly that as what you said, your sliding door or your doors at home. So it's, it's a, 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 a one cleaner for those items that have a variety of different elements to it. So let's try and clean something. Let's change the scooter. So uh, this is one of our, let's have some fun in the warehouse uh, vehicles. So I don't want to see what we're going to miss. Okay. <laughs> I'll hold it, you spray. <laughs> so here we have uh, aluminium, I think, plastic, <laughs> rubber. I'm just mentioning a couple of things. This is a scooter. Um, and we're going to just make sure. So you spray it on, you leave it for a little while so that the activation. So what's nice, Bunny, can we stop there? If you see, it's not running. And immediately you start seeing, I don't know if, if Rich, if you can see. I'll just take my scooter back a bit. Oh, people, people, <laughs> uh, so if you see, it's not, it's actually, it makes a, a, a couple of bubbles. Um, and I don't know if you also want to try there at the bottom. You can see there's a lot of feet that's been on there. <laughs> and then we can also just leave it and show how it cleans. So when we start rubbing off here, so you don't need water. So uh, for me, I, I would think, if, if I have to think of my bicycle at something like Sony to see where I know I want to clean it, but there's not that much water around. Um, okay, and I'm going to take this yeah, as well, and see just that you wipe that, just a part of it. Well, now I can actually see what's written there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier we couldn't make out anything. On here. Yeah, stunning. Okay, so it's a multi-active foam cleaner. So there's a lot of different things that you can clean with it upright your doors you don't need the water it's a, it, it, it um, activates as soon as it touches the surface um, and uh, yeah it's it's so many different users but see it it is on our advantage app it is on our online store if you want to get some more information about it but always for me the best way to get to know the products is to to try them spray them in as many things as possible and see how well they get cleaned so that's the the, the things that i enjoy the most so bunny from all the products still in the khaki range, what did you say was your favorite? The windscreen foam, foam cleaner. cleaner. Um, I must um, vouch <laughs> for you for that as well, but then I must say the one other product that I absolutely love is the MAC cleaner. So this is also then, if I have to say, one of my favorite khaki products, and just because it is the, so this is the Bunny and Mally uh, two <laughs> favorites. The foam windscreen cleaner and then the MAC cleaner. Both it makes your life so much easier because you don't have to worry about having to use toothbrushes and uh, getting a seven different cloths because you don't want shrieking on the, on the windscreen. But as I said, a really wide range so that you can get wet and foamy at home, enjoy, put the music loud, have the whole family um, help and um, clean their bicycles, their cars, or help you with cleaning your car. Um, but it's just a lot of fun. That's what spring and summer is all about. And there's a lot of products to make it simple and easy. And um, it's it's the best way for you to experience them is to try them. Okay, so, so one last thing that I want to mention before we say goodbye is that our we have a DIY competition um, on our DIY group. So if you go into Liquid Molly, you go onto the groups, you'll find there's a DIY group. Please join the group because it has been um, designed and created for you so that everybody, all our Liquid Molly family around South Africa and our neighboring African countries can share their tips. They show you how to add oil, how to put the engine flush, how to do different things on your own and why you would do them. So we've had so many amazing videos. You can browse through those videos on the Facebook uh, DIY group and be able to see different ways of how you can make sure that your home keeps into a non-squeaking, clean, <laughs> operating condition. 
And um, the next competition we have now is getting your, your toys and your equipment ready for spring and summer. So that's your lawnmower, that's your bicycle, that's your scooter, that's your tricycle, that's your jet ski, that's everything that you like playing with that's normally a little bit not so well used when it's winter. Um, and you want to get them out and make sure that they are ready to run. And um, be little tips, little one minute, two minute videos of showing your favorite product, how you apply it. I post it onto the DIY group and with the hashtags that are clear on the header of the group and um, you are entered into that DIY competition. The first prize is going to be a 5,000 Rand voucher, the second prize is 3,000 and the, the third prize is a 1,500 Rand voucher. There's a voting committee, so by the end of October we will be voting um, and, and deciding on the top 10 videos. That will then go on, to the, on the main Facebook page and from there we'll have our three top winners with the most amount of um, likes, shares and um, views. Am I also not allowed to <laughs> add to this one? <laughs> Bunny, you know what? The amazing thing is you can give people ideas <laughs> and let them share the videos, but we would love to see your videos. If so, you want to collaborate. <laughs> <laughs> so for all collaborations, Bunny is available. Just send him a message. And, um, but Bunny, I know you're going to show us your windscreen cleaning of, of your car and the mag cleaning. So we want everybody just have some fun. Just take a little small video, share it with everybody. So we can see how you do it or how you love doing it. And that might just inspire someone else to go get the product or to do it in a different way. So, um, yeah, it's just by having fun and enjoying this, this amazing season and um, uh, enjoying the time being outside. So I think that's one thing I love about the DIY competition is you get to see other applications that you would have never thought of. Um, the guys out there that use our products for things I would have never imagined. So that for me is, is one of my favorite things to find that you can actually use the make cleaner to maybe fry your fish, but don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there are some things we don't take responsibility for, um, but yeah, please read the technical dart sheet before you apply. Oh, we want to thank everybody that's watched and um, everybody that's still going to watch um, on a review and share parties. Uh, we really thank everybody for the, 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 the information, the questions we are getting on our Facebook page, the queries, uh, the references of what stores. But now we have a wide variety of, of family. We have a lot of different places where you can buy the products, our gold bargains, our minuses, um, our builders. Um, so they are uh, our green machine team, um, uh, Ideal Trading, Loop Guru. So we have a lot of partners. If you're not sure where to go get the products, just send us a message and we'll make sure we find it where you are, what you need, and we'll direct you to the closest place um, and retail store to be able to get that. Thank you very much, everybody. Have an abs absolutely wonderful week and have a wonderful spring. And um, we'll see you in the next Mally and Shally or the next Mally, Shally and Bunny. <laughs> we'll still decide how we're going to do it because we love the <laughs> this ready for summer, <laughs> the Shally. Thanks to Barney. Thanks Bye -bye. for joining us. It was really a lot of fun. Thank you for Thank having you, me. Thank you, everyone.